What's up guys, A Ready Gamer here back here with a another gaming news video. This is April the twelfth, twenty seventeen. Hopefully you don't notice that my voice is a little weird and I don't know why. Could be puberty or it could be because I'm sick. It sounds nasally and I apologize. But we have three stories for you today. And the first story is about Overwatch on the Nintendo Switch, and this is purely a rumor, but Overwatch might be coming to the Nintendo Switch in the future, and Nintendo Direct was today, and Nintendo just reaffirmed their games lineup for before E3. Well, in, an, in a Reddit Ask Me Anything from about a month ago by Jeff Kaplan, Overwatch director. He says that getting Overwatch on the Switch is a very is very challenging for Blizzard. And it's because of the specs and how underpowered the game is. And he has also been interviewed with Express Online and says that the additional challenge involves maintaining updates for four different platforms. Although others are saying that Blizzard has managed to keep updating between three platforms, so four platforms should not be that much more difficult. And finally, Kaplan has been quoted as saying that just because Blizzard is not on a platform right now doesn't mean we won't reconsider in the future, so we stay, stay aware of all of these things. Personally, I think that Overwatch should come to the Nintendo Switch. I do think it would be a system seller, mostly because of Overwatch on the go, especially because it's an established IP and the Nintendo Switch is selling fairly well. So I think it'd be a wonderful investment for both parties, that being Blizzard and Nintendo. Next story. Microsoft is going to up or excuse me, Microsoft is going to offer self-service refunds for Xbox One and Windows 10. Now I think these are just games, but no, these are apps too. But DLC, season passes, and add-ons are not eligible, unfortunately. But it's going to be similar to Steam. Actually, it's going to be exactly like Steam, where you must have bought the game in the last 14 days and you must not have played the game for more than two hours that's the exact same conditions as steam this is more significant for xbox users because most games on windows are bought from steam and steam already has this implemented as i said however the game or app must be downloaded and launched before you can request a self-service refund and you have to wait at least one day after the game or app's release before requesting a refund. Some Windows 10 apps won't work and Microsoft of course reserves the right to block access for users who abuse self-service refunds. I don't really know how can ab abuse self-service refunds? Or what the point is of abusing self-service refunds? But it puts a lot of pressure on Sony and PlayStation to implement a similar type of software. Or a similar type of process, which I am in full favor for. I think they should 100% they should 100% implement a similar process. Good job to you, Microsoft. Good job, Valve. Origin does it as well. I don't think Uplay does it, so all we need left is Uplay and PlayStation to do it. Although, most Ubisoft games that are on Uplay are bought through Steam. So yeah. Microsoft is imp is implementing the self-service refunds. And finally, the title. Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer has been leaked. 
And the cover features Darth Maul, a stormtrooper, and Rey to signify that all three eras will be in the game. And there is also going to be a campaign mode. Thank goodness. But the campaign mode I don't think is going to be from any of the movies. I think it's going to take place in between 6 and 7. And it'll be like a completely different campaign thing. But I hope they do implement something where you can play campaign in the original trilogy at least. And even the sequel and prequel trilogies. Hopefully, hopefully Battlefront 2 will live up to its name because the original Battlefront 2 is legendary for being... One of the best Star Wars games ever made. I still play it to this day. I sometimes prefer to play it over the other Battlefront, but sometimes I don't. If you want to play a campaign, then you gotta go to the original local multiplayer. That's another thing that they kind of botched in this in the reboot. They only allowed two players, I believe, whereas they should have allowed at least four, like the original. But online multiplayer is wonderful on Battlefront, the reboot, when you want to play that. But the official debut is going to be in Orlando on the 15th, that being a Saturday. And I'm really hyped for it. And in the trailer, you can look it up because it's on YouTube. In the trailer is featured Darth Maul, Yoda, Rey, and Kylo Ren. And also the soldier who's focused on in the campaign mode is in the trailer and they feature the Death Star, the second Death Star, blowing up from the planet of Endor. Very interesting. I'm very excited to see what Battlefront 2 will bring. I still have I still haven't bought the season pass for Battlefront 1, and I don't think I will unless it goes on sale for like 15 bucks, then I'll pick it up. But most people will probably be dropping off of the game soon, so I don't think it's worth picking up anymore. And, you know, hopefully EA continues to do this, where they alternate Battlefront, Battlefield, Battlefront, Battlefield. And, you know, if Call of Duty is going to implement World War II, I hope Battlefield also goes back, goes back to its roots and implements World War II. I think that'd be very interesting. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you want to catch the trailer, go on YouTube and look it up. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.